Hello, welcome to your tarot forecast reading for the month of May. I decided to do something a little different this month because I don't want to get burned out doing the same spreads over and over. So this time I want to try doing the chakra spread for the 12 signs. I felt inspired to do this spread for the monthly videos after I posted the Tuesday tarot tutorial this past week explaining how to do this particular layout. I thought it would be fun to do this for the monthly videos since it is really a fun spread to do and it is one of my personal favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoy it too. If you do prefer another type of layout for me to do for the monthly forecasts such as the Celtic Cross or uh, cards representing each day of the week, uh, feel free to leave me your feedback in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and let's get started with your readings. Leo, for the chakra spread I will be pulling seven cards starting with the root chakra and uh, moving my way up to the crown chakra. Each card will indicate the current state of being for your sign for the month of May. So I did shuffle these a little bit off camera but I want to make sure that I get in another good shuffle for you. And I'm going to be drawing a card here, which um, represents the base chakra. That's the uh, yantra inside. And each of these cards have a yantra inside of them um, to show the image or energy for that. So the root chakra is the connection to the earth. It's uh, your needs and it's your security and safety and connection to the world. So let's see what... Uh, your energy you're running for. I feel like oh, this is the same card that I drew for cancer. So if you're on the cusp or if you have any cancer in your chart, Leo, um, you may also want to watch that video because um, the energy is very similar here. So the Hierophant uh, is, it's about um, old things. It's about norms. It's about regularity and it's about traditions and values, okay? So things that are sort of in place and have been in place for a long time. So I do feel, um, and another thing that I'm picking up is that if you wanna look and see the colors that show up in these tarot cards and see if there are any that match the um, chakra that you're, that you're looking at. Um, so I'm seeing the red, first of all, which I hadn't commented on before in the other video. So you're just covered in this red. I feel like you yourself are meeting your needs. You're finding ways to meet your needs in this world. You yourself are finding ways to feel safe and secure and your connection to the world feels very strong. It's like you're, you're covered in it. So your connection to the earth is very powerful. The rhythms and cycles of nature, I feel like you're very in tune with that and you're not out of this rhythm. I feel like you're very much within the rhythm. Again, this is like an old ancient card. There's nothing more ancient from the earth that we came from here. Um, so I do feel like you're very much connected with the rhythms and the natural cycles and just feels like a very powerful, strong connection to the earth there. So I like seeing that for you. All right, so for your sacral chakra, uh, looking at your feelings, your emotions, your sexuality and creativity, uh, your connection with others, and the current energy in all of your relationships, your feelings about your relationships, your beliefs about your relationships right now. Let's look at May. Okay. Mm. Moving forward and moving on from difficult times. Okay. And again, I'm seeing the orange. Okay. So I see the orange, how you're wearing the orange. Wearing orange. Wearing red in that one, wearing orange in the sun, and there's like a boat that's sort of like brown, orangey sort of color. And again, this woman who's wearing it. So whether you're a man or a woman, I do see the man wearing it, I do see the woman wearing it. It does not matter your gender. For all Leos, I just feel like this is a very powerful color. Um, a side note that I want to mention, I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, chroma therapy. 
I think it's a color therapy. So you wear the color. Um, well, a lot of a lot of us intuitively do this. So we wear colors that we want to strengthen. So whatever clothes you put on for that day is strengthening that that chakra. So look at what color you're wearing right now. Look at what uh, clothing you're wearing. It'll give you an indication of what. Uh, energy center in your body you are trying to regulate maintain or strengthen so anyway just that's just a side note so anyway in your um, sacral chakra you have the seven or the, excuse me the six of swords which is moving forward to a more smoother um, placid sort of calm sort of energy okay where things had been sort of rocky in the past, it could have been the past seven months or so since you have the seven, or why oh, keep saying seven, six. Maybe it was the past seven months. <laughs> but anyway, the past six months here or so, things have been really rocky in your relationships. You've had, a, as far as your feeling nature, you've had high highs and low lows. And you are um, connecting with this energy center, energy field in your body to calm things down. This also has to do with your, the regulation of your hormones. Um, and in order to do that, you need to drink enough water, you need to get enough sleep, enough exercise, eat the proper foods, that sort of thing, like nourishing for your body. I, I feel led to share with you um, that, you know, hormone regulation, your feelings and your emotions, um, in order to have a more um, balanced and um, neutral state, this is a, a center that you probably want to work on this month, okay? So, and maybe you have been working on it, so good for you, okay? So the solar plexus chakra is the power chakra. And the power chakra is your vitality. It's how good you feel on a day-to-day, -day, how strong you feel. It's your courage to face the day. It's your self-esteem, your self-expression, your personal power. Show me the card. Okay. So it looks like you may be a little bit um, protective of your personal power. Um, I do see these yellow again. So it's almost, it's funny because each card um, is definitely showing me the colors. Um, it's matching up quite nicely. And I do see you wearing red. I hope you can see it. It's the sun is setting, so I've had to use artificial lighting here. Um, been uh, working at these videos for a while today. So um, you are wearing red. And again, going back to your safety, uh, it does feel in order for you to feel safe, you have to protect your personal power. Okay, so you are you are being pretty protective of yourself. You're looking out for yourself. Um, your self-expression, eh, not so much. You're sort of compacting it down. You're sort of holding it down. You're not really letting it shine. You're not really opening up that. So maybe that's another area of what you can work on this month, and maybe you are working on that. But I do see also um, the connection to the earth is your power. And I did mention that you're sort of connecting to the earth and mother nature. And that's a very powerful expression. You do have a major arcana here, which I do tend see as having and holding more weight than the other cards. So you're connecting to nature. Um, get outside, um, put your feet on the ground, sit down on the ground. Remember that you are not a part from nature. You are a part of nature. You are nature. <laughs> you are a part of this creation, um, just like the animals and the trees and all of that. And that may sound a little feathers and incense or hippy dippy for you, but it's, it's very true. And I feel like you are very connected to the cycles of nature this month. So also your cycle. If you are a, a woman watching this, I don't know why I keep keep coming up with this and I'm sorry if this doesn't apply but I do feel like your cycle you know your hormone regulation is very important for you make sure to get enough sleep take care of yourself um <clears throat> another thing that I'm seeing is you're sort of closing this energy down for some reason because you 
it's like a restrictive energy. So chakras, I do talk a little bit about them in the tarot tutorial video. If you haven't seen it, check it out if you want to. It's in the tarot tutorial playlist. Um, but I, I mentioned that chakra is, is literally translates to a wheel. It's a moving wheel, a spinning disc, and energy center. We have seven of them up our spine, okay? And um, this wheel opens and closes, depending on if we're trying to express that energy more so or if we're trying to restrict it. And there's always a reason for either. It's neither is good or bad. It shouldn't be judged that way. Um, you could be closing down your solar plexus chakra because you're feeling protective, simple. So let's move forward. I spent a lot of time on these. It's just because I was getting a lot of um, information and psychic information from them. One other thing before I move on. Okay, so the Hierophant is the five, right? It's a balance. It's in between one and ten. It's the center. It's the divisional point. It's the pivot point. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Since it's the halfway marker, it does feel like there is balance. You have some that go this way and some that go that way. You can even see with the V's on the back, the pattern that's on the back of their clothing. These are the monks or the students down here. And it's split. It's There's a fork. There's a fork in the road. Okay, it's also an even balance distribution. You have the five. Now, on one side, you have the six. On the other side, you have the four. These are Roman numerals that the five is sandwiched in between. <laughs> so one, I feel like you're trying to expand since it's the six, it's greater than the five. And one, I feel like you're trying to restrict, which is smaller than the five. Just another side note and some more image, image uh, that I was seeing there. Okay, let's move on to the heart chakra. So your heart is love. It's your, not just yourself, selfish love or selfish love between you and other people just for, um, you know, romantic love or for personal gratification, but it's unconditional love. It's the love that you have for humanity, for sharing, you know, your humanness with other people. Uh, it's love, it's kindness, generosity, respect, um, grace and forgiveness. And I do feel like Leo's, they tend to have like these very big hearts, right? Heart of gold. What is that movie, like The Wizard of Oz with the lion? He wanted courage. The other one wanted the heart, right? I don't remember. I watched it when it was a long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, the lion, the Leo lion has a heart of gold, the purple heart. I don't know why, but it's taking a minute for each of these chakras to really get the right card to come out. I think it's this one. It was a little shy. Oh, speaking of a little shy, <clears throat> there is a connection here that you have with somebody. This can be a kindred spirit, can be a soulmate, it can be a loved one of any sort. It's the love that you share with other people. This feels very healing for you. You have the caduceus here in the center, which is an image of medicine. It's like love is your medicine this month. And it's connection to everyone, not just one person, but several people. It's, you know, opening up and being kind to just people you see on the street, you know, for no reason, just being extra sweet, extra kind, extra loving, that sort of thing, okay? But I do see that there is some sort of love that you have in your heart. You're sharing it equally with the people or the person that is around you this month. You're open. Your heart is open to giving and receiving love, okay? Beautiful thing. Huh. And I was talking about the lion, the lion, blah, 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 whatever, the cowardly lion, the the heart of gold that the lion has. Do you see the lion here? There is a lion. Touche. Okay, so the throat chakra. The throat chakra is your communication with others, communication with yourself. It's you're speaking your truth from the core of you. It's listening. How well do you listen to other people? How well do you listen to yourself? The exchange of ideas that you have back and forth with other people this month. Let's take a look and see the energy from there for you. Ooh, powerful. Again, another major arcana, which is always a powerful energy. The high priestess. 
She does not speak often, but when she does, it is powerful. It is truth. She has the scroll of ancient wisdom and knowledge in her lap, and she speaks her truth from a state of wisdom. Okay? Just holding it up here in the camera, it kind of looks like <laughs> this person here. Just even in size, I just noticed that. So, um, yeah, definitely connecting with your inner truth is very powerful for you this for you this month. Um, wisdom. Wis listening to wisdom. Okay, I'm getting something, uh, a specific message for some of you out there. Listen to um, any sort of, uh, like, any sort of lectures, if you can, on YouTube for, like, uh, either the Law of Attraction, Abraham Hicks, or my personal favorite, which is Alan Watts, which is sort of a philosophy. It's old wisdom, philosophy, spirituality. That's how you're going to feel rooted in the world. That's how you're going to feel safe is this sort of, it's uh, your beliefs, philosophy, wisdom, listening and speaking that, okay? It's going to feed your soul. Just a suggestion. You don't have to take it. Um, but it does look like you're going to be very much in touch with your inner, your inner truth, your inner guide, your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, okay? So the third eye chakra is the psychic awareness that you have. It's your vision. It's your dreams, daydreams, nighttime dreams. It's reflections. It's insights. It's just sort of this knowingness that you have. Let's see what the energy is going to be. King of Wands. Okay. Definitely watch the, the Cancer videos if you can, because this is the second time that this has come up. Both of these cards are are um, coming up. So I feel like there is a connection that you may have in your chart with Cancer. Some of you are watching that. Definitely. this. I did mention that I feel like this is a spirit guide, and I, I feel like it's the same for you. The psychic awareness that you're having is coming through a guide coming through a spirit guide. Wands are literally spirit. There's two types of spirit. There's the water spirit and then there's the fire spirit. This is like spirit energy and the water is like a vibrational um, energy that sort of flows through us all. It's like both of them are psychic but these are like the messages that we receive and we get and it's the impulse to go oh my god I know. I know this. So it's the that fire. It's the uh, soul's spirit. Okay. So you do have a spirit guide around you, um, helping you. And I do feel like since you are a fire sign, Leo, um, this is, you know, the king of fire owning the power that you have, owning your fire, owning your, um, own, own strength. There's some, for some reason you don't want to share it with other people, this month, um, you really sort of want to keep it into your keep it to yourself. But the visions that you have of yourself and other people, the psychic intuitions, the impressions you get are going to be very powerful. Act upon them. It's it's a, a certain initial impression that you have the sort of instinct and awareness that you can act on. Trust it, okay? Because what you're seeing is correct. This man in this. Uh, whether this is you or a guide, this man has vision. He's looking off into the distance, but he's seeing something that we don't see, okay? And he's seeing it for the future and the long run with this sort of rod that he has in his hands. Okay, he's going to manifest something. It looks like you're going to manifest something through your visions. If you have a dream... You could uh, end up starting to materialize it this month. Not fully, but you're, you're beginning it. Okay. So the crown chakra is the integration of all of these chakras. It's the connection to God. It's connection to goddess, connection to spirit. It's the divine intelligence that we have access to. All right. Let's see what needs to come up for you, Leos. Wow. <laughs> okay, so swift messages coming through your crown chakra. Okay, so when you open up your crown, he is wearing a crown, is he not? 
crown. So the, the chakra would be like right here. So your spirit guides, your angels, the energy that sort of flows through your head, down through your body, to your feet, to the earth, right? And it runs back up. And it's what keeps you connected from heaven to earth. And you're sort of this channel here. All of these wands are sort of flowing down into you. You're just picking up messages like that, which is why you may be guarding your personal power, okay? And sort of being protective of that. Watch the cancer video. The, the message is very similar. I keep, sorry, I keep telling you that, sorry. But um, yes, so you're going to be picking up spiritual messages. This is a card about communication, air communication, floating through the air air travel. There's many messages that are going to be coming through for you this month. Um, and they come in suddenly and they come in quickly. Okay. And you just have this sense of knowing, right? You're listening, you feel it, you've got it. You're, you're very much, uh, in, in your power this month. And I feel like you are working on strengthening your, yourself before you can really, uh, give it away or share it with other people. So that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing here for you. Um, yeah, none of these really look that undesirable or any, um, yeah. So I, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. It was honestly, this has been my favorite video probably to do for any of the monthly videos that I've done on my channel. I've had my channel since August or September, I think of this past year. And um, this was this was probably, I wanted to say hello again. There's a special message in here for your personal power, uh, not giving it away to other people, owning it. Anyway, this is my favorite video um, that I have done since I've started my channel. I think it's because I really enjoy this spread and I really do connect with energy. And, um, so anyway, like I said, I hope you, hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me through my website in the description box below. Uh, otherwise I will see you in the upcoming monthly video forecasts or any of the weekly Oracle videos that I've been posting or any of the tarot tutorial videos that I've been doing as well. So thank you and be well.